The Chale Water Festival is ushering in a new era at the Black Star Square, its surrounding avenues, and within the Osu community. This festival, which commenced yesterday, drew a diverse crowd from various corners to partake in a celebration of arts and culture. There's more on this report by Jacqueline and Sumayawa. Currently, we are at the Osu Castle, and yes, it is the 13th edition of the Chalawate Festival. And um, when we came here, all the people were getting registered, artists were putting up their artworks, and many more. Um, today is the first day they are about to start with the procession. So join me as we join them to procession into the Osu town. Okay, so uh, you're about to start with the procession and I've got a couple of diasporans here and uh, want to talk to them and find out why they traveled all the way to come here. So hello, how are you doing? Hi, fantastic, how are you? I'm good. Uh, can you tell us your name? My name is Watale Boikanyo. I, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> and what, what's your name? I love that. Paul. Paul, thanks for saving me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you traveled all the way from South Africa to come to Ghana to witness the Chalwati Festival. Why? Because this is one of the biggest festivals of its kind in all of West Africa, so we couldn't, you know, wait to come and experience it in person. We are also showcasing a film on Wednesday, so we are quite excited about that. Okay. Yeah. All right, what about you? Yeah, same thing. I am one of the actresses in the film, so we're showcasing the film, The Deal, on Wednesday. We just want to know more about it. So, Ni, um, can you tell me more about what ha just happened earlier? Uh, we are processing from the Christian World Council to the Osu Township. And as you can see, we have the Osu Ulomo, who is the principal chief Ulomo of the Osu Stu. Yeah. So you need to, once you are passing to somebody's uh, house, you need to go to the person's house and ask for permission. Okay, so that was what you did earlier? We went there for the Wulomo to pray for us so that it would be a successful procession. Okay. What is going to be any bad or any negative energy should we drive away. Okay. So we went there to pay homage uh, to the ancestors. Okay. So as, we, as you can see, we went to the Wulomo's place to for us so that we can have a successful procession. Okay. All right, Ni, I see you have this around your neck. What does it signify? And first of, first of all, what's the name of it? It's called Isub. But in the local language, you call it Nyanyina. Nyanyina? Nyanyina. Okay. Nyanyina, but that is called Isub. We are used to drive away negative energies. As we, uh, we process through a township, there are some bad and neg neg negative, or negative energies around. So this is um, a, in spirituality. It's used to drive away negative energies and also serve as a cleanser for purification. All right. we, we also have Miss Bell here. Miss Bell, how are you? I'm okay. And so how do you see the whole procession so far? It just started. It's spiritual and it's going well, well put together. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, what is the, I see you having this one. Um, does it mean anything to you? Um, it's an African accessory, but yes, you can put um, some cleansing spirits in there. So as we are walking, if you the energy doesn't feel right, you.